Hey everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video I will show a really simple way how you can make flexible columns in Elementor and also how you can add column under the column in Elementor. So let's just click plus in Elementor and then, then just click structure, the one column. Now click here on edit section so you edit the whole section here. Go to advanced and we need to add some really easy custom CSS code so let's start right here selector then go with the dot elementor container again dot elementor row now we will go with the compost bracket what will happen that if, for example you're i think you're going to have like this small screen so it's going to look like this and it's okay so it doesn't matter if it looks like this or this it's all the same and then just write flex wrap 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 and then dot with comma okay so now we got it this is the first code we needed uh the whole section is now influenced by our by our magical code then just go right click add a new column and choose the like the first column it doesn't matter go to global I mean, choose it. Uh, navigator. Now choose the first column. Go to advance the custom CSS, and then we are going to write a second code here. Selector. Again, the composed bracket with one hundred percent. And then just add dot with comma. Now, as you can see, it's perfect. We can do it the same thing by just copying it on the second way, on the second column. So I'm going to choose the second column here. The navigator is right down here, by the way, guys. And again, custom CSS. Oh my God, did I just copy the whole intersection? Mamma mia. As you can see, and also like you can you can add it like to eighty percent, fifty percent. It's really up to you, right? So that's pretty much it. And then just like add a new column, and voila! Here we got like the second column here, right next to it. So this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down below in the comments. But I actually don't need that right now. Yeah, I would choose the second, the third column, and I would uh, get it to 100%. Oh, now it's going to be tricked. Because this ruined everything. <laughs> so, oh, let's play around it. So, if I go here to with to 50%, it's going to be right here and this column is going to be kind of limited right yep but this is how you can actually do it it's pretty simple and you just edit it as much as you want so thank you everybody if you have any questions guys ask me down below in the comments but this is how you can actually add a column under the column and then you just add the next column to it and you're good to go have a great day and goodbye